Yo, what's up everybody? Friday, June 25th. New highs in the S&P and the Dow. Um, all right, yesterday I said I didn't see any slowdown in the fiscal flows. In the last two weeks, I have been, you know, kind of warning everybody that this could happen because of those unemployment cuts. And the cuts are definitely happening. I mean, uh, another bunch of states ended them today. But so far, I think it's something like 14 or 15 states have ended the supplemental unemployment benefits. And I was expecting to see a slowdown in the fiscal flows, but really not happening. As a matter of fact, it almost looks like a little tiny bit of a pickup in those flows. So yesterday I said, you know, as long as those flows stay the way they are and you don't see the contraction, market's going to go up. Bullish sentiment is not that high. I mean, if you look at it historically, if you want to look at the AAII weekly survey, bullish sentiment is not that high. The only thing I would say is that bearish sentiment is historically low right now. I mean, if you want to look at that, but I just think people got to have to get a lot more bullish and more importantly, because the sentiment is, is very much secondary to the fundamental support for the economy and that's coming from the flows. So, so far I don't see anything. Nothing that would say hey, you know, this thing is losing its primary support, you know, its primary economic support, that government spending. Not only that, you got the banks now starting to increase their loans. I think I mentioned this a couple of days ago that consumer loans now are at the highest level in 14 or 15 months. They are expanding again. Credit card and revolving credit, I mean, I'm looking at that most likely as a sign that people are picking up their consumption, although we did see retail sales uh, today in the number a little bit weak in May. But, I mean, things are still looking good. <laughs> so, it's hard to get negative on the situation when those flows are still there. And again, that, that's the core of everything, man. That is the core of everything. So, guess what? Monday, the new Basel III regulations go into effect. I did a bunch of videos on Basel III a couple of weeks ago uh, at the beginning of June and I, I talked about how you know a lot of people have been predicting that this will be a very very bullish development for gold and I have to tell you I'm not so sure I'm not saying it's going to be a negative development for gold. You know, I think it's probably going to be neutral. Now, the thing you want to watch, because I think primarily what happens here under these new rules is the way banks have to account for and ha how they're going to have to back these unallocated gold contracts. In other words, you know, not having the actual physical gold that they pledged to their customers. Okay, up until now, that was an asset. It's still an asset of the bank banks, but they didn't have to uh, back that with uh, so much capital. Now that has to be backed with 85% of you know the face value of those unallocated contracts. And what this means is that at least from some of the explanations I've heard, which makes sense to me, it could impact derivatives trading. It makes derivatives trading in gold more expensive, more of a hassle for the banks. And if that is the case, if it, if it kind of plays out like that, it could possibly lead to a significant loss in liquidity in gold derivatives trading. So, you know, like um, in London, uh, London Bullion Market Association, and also on the COMEX. If this happens, I mean, think about it. 
you know, assets that are highly liquid and, you know, have the ability for dealers and investors and producers to hedge and offset risk, those are, those end up to be, you know, really, really widely held assets. They're everywhere. Look at treasuries, look, look at equities, right? I mean, there's so many ways. I mean, they're very, very liquid. There's ways for dealers, producers, uh, you know, uh, merchants to hedge and offset risk. If, if the derivatives markets start to dry up in gold, I don't know. It just seems like it becomes a less attractive asset. That doesn't mean, you know, gold miners are going to stop producing it. It doesn't mean the industrial use for gold is going to go away. I just think from an investor investment perspective as an asset, if some of that liquidity is reduced, I don't know, it might take some of the shine off of gold. That's the thing I think you have to be looking at. All right. That's the key thing I think you have to be looking at. And I can tell you this, that in the past five or six months, kind of like in the lead up to this, uh, these new regulations, when we've seen gold come to within, you know, less than 10% of its all time record high, uh, the open interest in gold futures, at least on the COMEX, has gotten pretty low historically. I mean, we're like 480,000 total open interest in gold when, you know, the last time it was up there, uh, last July, I think we were up something like 700,000, at least 600,000, something like that. So, so the rally has been associated with less participation. That might be an indicator right there. I mean, we may have already been witnessing a curtailment or a slowdown in the amount of derivatives activity on the part of banks and financial institutions. That's not so much going to affect producers. They're still going to hedge. They're still going to want to use the derivatives market. But again, if the liquidity goes away, I don't know. But I don't see it as a super bullish thing. And, you know, the people who I see talking about it in a super bullish way, I mean, to me, they're just like die-hard gold bugs. They're, they're just going to grab any story they can to support the bullish outlook. I think gold for me is uh, an economically sensitive commodity. I look at it like that. I don't look at it as money. I don't look at it like as a store of value. I don't even look at it as an inflation hedge. I look at it as an economically sensitive commodity. It's kind of stagnating a little bit right now. Maybe that says something about, you know, where the economy is. I don't know. But anyway, just so you know, Monday starts the new regulations. So we'll keep an eye on gold. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with uh, the derivatives market. And uh, that should be the first indicator anyway. If we see something funny going on there, then you know that these regulations are having an impact. If nothing happens, then it's a big nothing. Anyway, that's it for now, folks. Don't forget, go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com. Sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. And uh, hopefully I'll see you over the weekend. Have a great weekend. Bye.